The job at One Life to Live came from Linda Gottlieb, and she had gone to Wellesley College, just like I had. I was the executive producer of One Life to Live in 1991 until 1994. I came into the show uh, and hated every aspect of it. ABC asked me to do the show, and I remember looking at two weeks of tapes and saying, I really hate this show, and can I change everything about it? And to my surprise, they said yes. One of the first things that I wanted to change was the music. Oh my God, I mean, it was so primitive. When I came to ABC to watch the production of One Life to Live, I couldn't believe it. They actually had no post-production whatsoever. The music cues were run live while the actors were acting. There was a little man who had a cart of audio tapes and there was a cue for sadness, a cue for happiness, a cue for I'm having an affair, whatever you wanted. So, you know, they would say, you know, camera roll, and then the guy would hit the start button on a music cue, and the whole thing got done together in one fell swoop. There was no post scoring. What evolved from this interaction was that they came into the 20th first century, you know, the 20th century at least, by getting a computer system and upgrading to post-production. I gave Suzanne a character. I would tell her, we're doing a story about a character called Megan. And the storyline is that Megan dies. And I wanted her to die very slowly. Gosh, what I remember about Megan, first of all, was that she was, she was dying of lupus. I had no idea what lupus was. I was always fascinated by how they, you know, brought people back to life, killed them off, and, you know, you never knew what was going to happen. And she wanted a theme for Megan. If I have the music right, and if I can create enough of, a, of a, an involvement with this character through her memories, I can increase the ratings in the show. And so there was, a, there was a big gamble. I mean, I convinced the network that by doing a very long death of Megan, in which she remembered all of the various lovers and husbands and children and past lives she'd had, I don't remember her storyline, that everybody would get involved with the show. And a key ingredient was Megan's theme. And viewers became familiar with it because we would do that theme day in and day out as that storyline was going on. And it went on, I think it took her, I don't know, must have taken her a month to die, as long as we could possibly last until her finally extremely sad and very musically beautiful ending. Megan is dying now. Oh, it's such a shame. <laughs> if you could see her pathetic face. <laughs> she would really, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would uh, play around with it. I can play it on the piano. It's actually in my piano book. You know, it became a, a song on my album. It was on the Dream Suite album. I did it for orchestra. After Suzanne Chani, all the other ABC shows hired composers. They ch it changed the way music was used in daytime drama. 